Container is safe.
See what your mother has to endure in a ripe old age. Mom, come home. I'm so worried about you. Is that stray you took in still there? Please don't talk like that about my future wife. Her name is Sylvia. You've known her for a week and you're calling her your wife? What do you even know about her? I love her. More than your own mother? I must have been a terrible mother. You see, this nice young man promised to get me a container where I can live out my days alone. But, Mom! Quiet! Now, how did it go, my hero? Well, you can move in. Here is your well-earned payment. I could have left it to my son, but he deserves nothing. Please, talk some sense into her, because I don't have the strength anymore. Now, mother comes first. You don't know what you're talking about. But he's right. Who loves you more than anyone in the world? And who will always take care of you? Fine. I'll pack Sylvia's things and tell her to leave. Finally. Well, it's about time you came around. Thank you. I have no idea what I would do if it weren't for your help. Did you hear? They're having a tournament at Carnage Hall. If you hadn't helped with the renegades, I'd be out of work right now, or worse. <laughs> That's more Matt's doing. Hey, don't be modest. I'm the house. I'm Nicholas. So you know Frank well? Not old military butts well, but well enough to know back then he was a big shot. A special forces commando, a night runner. Quite the high-ranking mucky-muck. Until one mission, he led people into the television tower. Ended in a massacre. After that, he ditched the uniform and started the fisheye. Took out a new lease on life. But he became a haunted man. Frank relives that tower mission, start to bloody finish every day. The booze helps him get through it all. I've seen him on a bender. Drinking like that isn't helping him get through anything. Then imagine what he's like when he's not drinking. So, how do things work in this place? The fisheye? They work better than anyone predicted when Frank set up shop. Two days and the peacekeepers will take it over or the renegades will blow it up. And nobody blew anything up. It's the safest place around by far. Neutral turf. Even bandits come here just to hash out deals over booze. Anyone can relax without the threat of violence. Rivalries are checked at the door. That's a good place to have. Hey, tell me about Luan. Frank says women like her were given call signs based on cocktails. Bloody Mary, Margarita Rocks. Luan is hot shit with a hot temper. You do not want to get on her bad side. Cross her once and that's it. Game over. I gotta go. Wait. You interested in making a bit of money? And how would I do that? It's a simple job. There's a metro station under the fisheye. Used to be UV lamps in the metro that kept the infected at bay. But they stopped working because every tunnel and station is infested. What happened? Might be the lamps, but I doubt it. We've replaced them recently. Maybe something cut the cables. But what? 
It's not like the infected bit through them. It'd take a lot of biters to accomplish that. On the other hand, heard a couple stories like that about infected who work together, somehow coordinated, as if they're smarter than we think. Once, this guy at the bar told me he fell into a trap. He claimed a group of biters herded him into a dead end in a dark zone intentionally. They didn't act like a typical mindless swarm. Said he only managed to survive by climbing onto a trash bin to reach a fire escape above the pack. But no, I wouldn't put much faith in that. If that were possible, I think we'd see it more often. Could be a blown fuse. Best bet would be to start at the electrical room. So, you want me to turn on the lamps? Yeah, get to the electrical room. For all we know, could just be a blown fuse. If so, you could just reset the main power supply from there. Before you go, got a little something that'll help you out. A house specialty. Guaranteed to warm those biters' bellies. Just a bit of house food, a bottle and an old rag. But powerful stuff. Or you can always just sneak in past the biters if you don't want to make a ruckus. Once you turn on the UVs, they'll fry anyway. And you won't end up wasting good hooch. All right, I'll take care of it. Butcher's men are high on some weird kind of drug. Hey, remember to go there after dark. Come on, tell me. Yeah, thanks. She's still seeing that.
Nicholas, I'm in the control room. Nice. Now just find the switch. <sighs> Nicholas, the switch didn't work. Damn it. There's another way. Up for giving it a try? Let's finish this. There should be an electrical room with military generators further below. Look for an elevator. Maybe you can go down the shaft. Military generators doing in the metro. Seems the tunnels work great for moving troops around the city. Only first they had to clean the infected out. And to do that, they needed a lot of light. That called for a lot of power. Thank <laughs> you. 
Nicholas, it worked. Generators are up and running. So the intel wasn't some booze-induced fantasy. Now get back up here. I got some beers on ice with your name on them. 